Hey there, you looking kind of cute. Please consider subscribing and check out our Patreon for more. Enjoy the video. A friend of my mom's called me one summer and asked if I would mind watching her house for two weeks while she was on vacation. I only had to bring in the mail and water the plants every day. She said she would give me $200 while she was away. The only bad thing about this job was that she lived two miles outside of town in the country. But that was fine because I was driving a lot at the time. So it gave me a reason to drive. She was so nice that she even gave me money for gas. Just hearing that was enough for me to jump at this great deal. I went over to her house the night before she left so she could show me what needed to be done. She told me what plants to water and where to put the mail. She also gave me her mail key. She also told me that if I was bored, I could relax and watch TV all day if I wanted to. I knew I would take her up on it because she had a big scree, almost like a mini movie theater. And feel free to try on my clothes if you like. I laughed and said sarcastically, Sure, I will. Hi, he. And we both laughed. The first day after she left, I went over and sat in front of the TV after finishing my chores. I went through all of the channels and then decided to watch Dr. Phil. Either that or watching soap operas. On Dr. Phil that day, he was talking to men who liked to dress up as women. One of the men talked about how he first started wearing clothes that they got from their mother or sister. He told Dr. Phil that every man wants to dress as a woman, but only a few men do it. I thought this was crazy. I had never thought about wearing women's clothes, but the more he talked about it, the more I wanted to try it. I guess I wanted to show that guy on the show that he was wrong. When I went into Kim's room, I was surprised to find that she wasn't very clean. I thought all women were neat freaks, so that really surprised me. My mom was, at least. Well, I just wanted to wear a skirt to show that I didn't want to dress like a woman. I found a skirt that I thought would fit me after digging through a pile of clothes. I knew she wasn't that much bigger than me, so I was pretty sure it would fit. I kicked off my shoes and put on her skirt. I had trouble getting to the zipper, but I was able to zip it up in the end. Then I had the most strange thing happen to me. I didn't know that a piece of clothing could feel so good. I decided that the way the skirt felt was nice, so I wore it for the rest of the day. In the days that followed, I started trying on more of clothes. I put on pants, bras, and nylons. I felt like a kid in a store full of candy. Her shoes were the only thing that didn't fit me. They were too small by one or two sizes. That made me feel really bad. I really wanted to try on high heels and see how they felt. That night, I went to bed thinking about how I could find heels that would fit me. I thought about buying some, but I knew I wouldn't have the courage to. Then I thought about whether or not my mom had a pair that would fit. I went into her room and got a pair of shoes while she watched TV downstairs. I went back to my room with the shoes and locked the door. I didn't put my the shoes on until everyone went to bed. I was glad to see that they fit perfectly. They were black and looked nice. They were made of suede and had a three-inch spiked heel. I was so happy that night that I couldn't fall asleep. Tomorrow, I was going to try on all girl clothes and see what it was like. The next morning, I told my mom I was spending the night with a friend and wouldn't be back until the next morning. I told her I was going to Kim's house and then to my friend's house to spend the night. I knew Kim would be home tomorrow, and I thought this might be my last chance to be a girl. The first thing I did when I got to Kim's house that afternoon was take a shower. I was sweaty because it was hot outside. I decided to shave all the hair off my legs while I was in the shower. I thought that if I was going to dress like a girl all the way, I might as well have fun with it. When I was finished, I went to Kim's room to find the perfect dress to wear. Before that, I mostly wore her skirts and dresses. The dress was well tucked away in the back of the closet. It was made of black velvet, not too short or too long. It had short sleeves, and I could tell it was a special dress because it wasn't on the floor with her other clothes. I knew that this was the dress I wanted to wear on my last day of house sitting for Kim. I had never seen a more beautiful dress. I was now ready to put on my clothes. I found a pair of pants that were really nice and to put them on. That was so great. I then looked for a black top that went with the pants and put that on. I then put on a pair of black nylons and a gold anklet I had found. 
I had never worn nylons before when my legs were bald. It was a really new experience thing to do on its own. I decided to put on some makeup before I put on my dress. For my first time, I didn't do too bad. I even put my hair in curls. I knew how to curl my hair because I had seen my mom do it a million times. The time had come for me to put on my dress. I took the dress off the hanger and put it on. I had trouble getting the zipper to go up, but I used a piece of string to help. Now was the first time I dressed like a girl from head to toe. I put on my mom's shoes and stumbled over to a mirror to see how I looked. I was a little disappointed because I still looked like a guy in a dress, but I didn't care. I just wanted to take it all in. By the time I was ready, it was getting dark outside. I was having fun and didn't want it to be over. I started to think about how cool it would feel to walk outside in my clothes at night. Before that, I had never been outside. Kim lived outside of town, so I knew no one would be around. So I said, what the heck? I looked around and found a purse that matched my dress. I put the keys to my house and car in it. I put my cell phone in my purse and was ready to go outside in a dress for the first time. When the phone rang, I was just about to leave. I almost threw up. I went over to the phone and answered it. It was just a dumb salesman trying to sell me a windshield. After I got my bearings again, I walked out the back door into the dark. When I felt the night air on my nylon-clad legs, I almost fell over. It felt great. I was still a little worried about being seen, but my fear didn't last long, and I was soon able to walk down to a stream. After a while, I got up and walked back to the house. By the time I got back home, it was pretty late. The back door was locked when I got there. I was lucky to have my keys in my purse. When I looked down, I saw that my purse wasn't on my shoulder. I didn't freak out at the time. I must have left my wallet down by the stream. I went to the stream to look for the purse, but it wasn't there. Then I realized that when the phone rang, I must have put my purse down. When I got home, I looked out the window and saw that my purse was sitting next to the phone. The same purse that held my car keys, cell phone, and even worse, the keys to my house. I was outside and had no money or keys. Even worse, I was in a dress and high heels. I wanted to scream when I realized what had just happened to me. I didn't know what I would do. I guess I could have broken a window, but I wouldn't have had time to fix it before Kim got home. I knew I had to get home before dawn. I, I realized, to my horror, that I had to walk home. It was just a bit over two miles. On a normal day, it would take me about an hour to get home. I knew that walking home in a dress and high heels would take a long time. I knew it would take longer because I would have to take the back roads so I wouldn't be seen. So I got up and walked. After walking the first mile... My feet hurt a lot. I knew I wouldn't be able to do it. About a mile from my house, I found a small store. I saw that there was a phone outside, so I called someone to come pick me up. I chose to call Julie, a good friend of mine. She was the only friend who didn't laugh too hard at me or think I was weird. I told her what I had done and asked if she could come get me. I was wrong about her reaction. She thought I was weird because I wore clothes made for women. She did say, though, that she would come get me. Julie's car finally pulled up after what seemed like a long time. As soon as I got in the car, I was asked questions. If I wanted to be a woman? Maybe, I don't know. I told her I was stupid and shouldn't have done what I did. After a while, her mood and ideas changed. She said she felt bad for being mean before. I told her that everything would be okay if she would just take me home so I could get out of these clothes. It was pretty late when we finally got to my house. I got out of the car and walked up to the house, but when I tried to get in, I realized I didn't have the keys. I knew I would have to wake mom up to get in. I rang the doorbell and could hear her walking toward the door. She wasn't very happy when she opened the door and saw me wearing a dress and her heels. She was really angry. Even after I told her what had happened, she was still mad. She told me I had to stay dressed like this until Kim got home the next day. I would have to explain why I was wearing a dress. I mean, she did tell me I was allowed to wear them. I tried to sleep, but couldn't. When it was morning, my mom took me to Kim's. Before we drove over, my mom called Kim, so Kim already knew. When we pulled up to the house, she was smiling. So you did it. I knew you were different. I could finally put on my boy clothes again, but they didn't feel right anymore. I went to the mall with Kim after I changed my clothes. 
We went shopping to get her a new dress to replace the one I was wearing so I could keep the other one. After buying a dress, I spent about $1.150. I even bought Kim lunch. I told her why I was wearing the clothes and how my curiosity got the best of me. She finally got to know me better and told me she got it. She even told me I was doing a good job of taking care of her house. We were laughing about the whole thing by the time we got home from shopping. When she said she would let me watch her house again, I was surprised. She told me that if I wore her clothes again and went outside but got locked out, all I had to do was use the spare key she keeps under the front mat. I was free to be the girl I always wanted to be at her home. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Patreon for a lot more content and early access to YouTube videos.